Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and it is Sunday, so it's time to push aside those Sunday scaries and get set up for the coming week. I'm going to walk you through what I consider to be my functional planning style. I do have some ink on my <laughs> hands. <laughs> um, I, yes, yeah, so I'm going to walk you through my functional planning for the week and um, show you how I use my Hobonichi Hone, which is the hardcover version of the Cousin. So I do have this case from Hobonichi. This is from a number of years ago and I got it secondhand. I also have my coffee and my uh, son got me this mug for my birthday because he and I listened to Crime Junkie together during our commutes. Um, and I have my coffee that has some chocolate uh, caramel salt in it from a company called LMNT. So I like to add electrolytes in as much as possible. Um, so that's my my little morning dose. Um, I'm going to flip through a couple of pages. Uh, so the first thing is that I'll do is the six month at a glance. Um, and I have a Sailor Pro Gear white and pink gold with a fine nib which is exceptionally fine and it's inked up with Birmingham Pen Company Blast Furnace which is a nice uh, black that has a little bit of like a grayish purple undertone to it. Um, so I did take a rest day last Sunday from my workout but I worked out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and I took a rest day yesterday. Um, I did not have any alcohol on uh, oops, Sunday, Monday. I had an evening work event on Tuesday and went out for a, uh, had a sun cruiser after, which is an, a new little discovery. Um, and then Wednesday, I did not have alcohol. I had some Prosecco on Thursday to celebrate my Hobonichi unboxing. And then I went out to see some live music on Friday with some friends. And I had some more Prosecco. And then yesterday, I had one gluten-free uh, beer that my husband had picked up. I really love fall beers and being able to do the caramel and the cinnamon and sugar rim. But um, since finding out that I have uh, am celiac, it's very few, far, far and few between, few and far between, whatever the phrase is. So there's that. Uh, gosh, I should have been tracking my no spend days. Let's see. I did spend Saturday. I did spend Friday. I did not spend on Thursday or Wednesday, but I did on Tuesday and I did not on Monday or Sunday. I have not been reading. That's been terrible. Um, with going back to work, I'm finding that when I get home, I need some downtime. And my husband is a golf coach this year. So between his practices and his matches and his just general uh, planning, um, He's been not getting home until in the later evening, so I've uh, kind of shifted and taken on a little bit more of the home responsibilities, which means I have not allocated time to reading, but I'm hoping to do that today. Um, in terms of cleaning, I did clean on Sunday and Monday. I did not on Tuesday, but I did on Wednesday, Thursday, and I did not on Friday nor yesterday. Um, laundry based on the very huge stack of laundry in our bedroom that needs to be folded. I need to do some work on that, but I did run a load on Thursday and I did run a load on Tuesday and I just need to fold those. So hopefully we'll get that done. Um, okay. 
So this would be much more effective if I came back to it every day or two. So I will have to work on that. Now flipping to the monthly. So the things that I know that I have on a consistent basis, I've gone and um, written in proactively, but everything else I'm going to kind of build out um, in this video right now. So I have a 7.30. I do have a video coming out for, I went to a pen show yesterday and one of the things that I got was this blotter paper. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on getting in the habit of using it. I'm going to just put that down. So we have 7.30, upper elementary, aim, and then Monday is generally a pretty easy day for me, but I do have a five o'clock board of director meeting. Um, there is an email that I have that I have to respond to that came in Friday evening about a consult on Monday. So um, that will be added. And I have a student follow-up to do uh, one of the students that I work with did something unexpected. So myself and their special educator are going to meet with them to discuss that and try to make game plan for going forward. Yum. All right. And then Tuesday, I have a meeting at our central office. Um, oh, this is getting canceled. Got a call first thing in the morning and cancel that. So I have a meeting at central office and then I have a console at the high school. I will also be doing a couple of observations at the high school. And then I've added to my schedule uh, at um, 155. Uh, oh, that's, ugh, I need to. I don't know why my hand is shaky, but it is. Um, I have a student one-to-one. -one. Well, I should say that's my third coffee. So that could be why I'm shaky. And then I made an appointment for 320 with my primary care. Um, so I... After doing a neuropsychological evaluation and um, kind of learning that I have PTSD uh, <laughs> and a little, you know, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of depression, um, but that kind of manifests itself for me as this perfectionistic approach to life, which then makes me feel like a failure all the time, which is so much fun. Um which then leads to me having some low self-esteem. I am going to explore a medication likely for anxiety just to help me with uh, doing more work on some better coping skills and really diving into some of my past trauma more than I already have. <laughs> um, and it just, I needed to take some time and and really kind of, think through all of this but so I have that appointment with my primary care I'm going to start there all right now on Wednesday I have another 7 30 upper elementary aim group and if you're new to my channel I work I am a board certified behavior analyst I work in public schools at a district level so I serve multiple buildings and one of um, the curricula or one of the resources that I that I use is a curriculum called aim or accept identify move which is based on acceptance and commitment therapy and uh, so I utilize that curriculum on a one-on-one -on -one or small group basis for students that um, are working on perspective taking psychological flexibility, uh, and social-emotional learning skill development. 
So if you see AIM, that's what I'm doing. Um, I already have that 12 o'clock upper elementary consult. And then I have on Wednesdays, I have a an AIM group at the middle school. So I spend the majority of my day. Oh, and I have this nine o'clock um, central office meeting. So typically I spend the majority of my day on Wednesday at the lower elementary or sorry, upper elementary school that I work in, which is grades three to five. And um, but on this particular day, which is about a once a month occurrence, I have to go to central office. Thursday, I have a one-on-one -on -one AIM group at the middle school, and I was finally able to schedule my other one-on-one -on -one students, so that's going to be at 10.15. So I've got that. So far, Thursdays are turning out to be my lower scheduled day, which is good because it gives me time to get caught up on things. This past Thursday, I had to finalize the planning for a professional development day or two professional development day trainings that I was doing. So I am feeling a little bit more behind on um, some of my some of my paperwork. So. Hopefully this week I've got that time built in. And then on, I'm just pausing because my mind is thinking about something right now. Nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. I have middle school crisis team. And the thing I'm pausing on is I have a calendar invite that is, noted as weekly, but I only need to go bi-weekly because part of that is mentoring for a new person in the district. Um, and I'm just realizing I don't know if, I don't think I'm going this week because that meeting didn't happen on the 13th. So I've got to go back. I wrote it down somewhere. I've got to go back and find where I wrote it. So that's my week. Now the next thing that I do um, is I flip to, oh, and I'm not gonna show the, well, I'll show the weekly. This is what I um, had put in my weekly. I am going to fill this out later today. And um, I have a Google Calendar sheet that I print out and I carry that with me throughout my work week and I hand write in uh, all the, the tasks that I do and the meetings that were added. So that's where that get, this gets built out from. All right, and then going into my daily pages. So yesterday uh, was the Commonwealth Pen Show. I um, also just kind of did some downtime. I went to see some live music on Friday. So I was up late. I cannot sleep in for the life of me. So I was also up early and um, then went in to the pen show. The pen show was really crowded and I didn't necessarily have the social battery for it. Um, so I got home and just kind of almost napped in the afternoon. Um, but then my husband and I enjoyed a cigar on the deck in the evening and we ordered dinner out and um, Zen of the Pen, another YouTuber uh, stopped by because I had some items for him from Hobonichi and we also did a little ink swap. So that was really nice. Um, so that was my day yesterday. Now today we've got a low of 57 and a high of 80. Um, and you know what? I'll come back to this. I, I like to end my videos with building out my day. So I will come back to that. So looking at Monday, let me just grab also that. Blotter paper. I have blotter paper. I'm so excited. All right. 
So this is where it gets a little redundant, but it makes sense to me. And it helps me to see each day where my gaps of time are open. And that's going to help me know how to build out my tasks. So we've got 7.30. The upper elementary aim group. And we have 2.30. We have the middle school consult. I'm going to add a task here. So also as I write things out, it, as tasks come to my mind, I want to capture them so that they don't get lost. So I need to reschedule the uh, 9.30 consult. I just learned that um, one of my favorite people is coming to uh, visit Massachusetts or visit Boston. And I'm going to, on September 30th, leave work or after work, go into Boston to meet up with them for dinner and catch up. So to get there as soon as possible, I am going to reschedule that 2.30 consult to another day that week so that I can um, allocate more time for my catch up because that's important. Um, okay, so that's my day on Monday. Tuesday, I have 8.15. I have the central office meeting and then 10.52, I should have put it in the next box, but that's fine. High school consult. And then at 1.55, a middle school one-to-one. -one. And then 320, my primary care. Oh, call dentist. All right, now moving on to Wednesday. I have 7.30, upper elementary aim, oh that feels really nice to write on, then I have an 8 o'clock upper elementary consult. I need to write it. Email me eight forty five end time on Wednesday. So because I then have to transition to central office, I just want to let my colleagues know that I will need to end our consult at 8.45 as opposed to 9 o'clock. That way we can effectively time manage. Nine o'clock is central office. Twelve o'clock upper elementary consult. And 155, middle school, aim. And I got really excited because as I'm building out this group, we um, 
it's at a size where I really wanted another adult to co-lead it with me. And I was talking with the team chair who recommended that I ask the school counselor if they would join me. And so I talked to the school counselor at the end of last week, and it sounds like that's a go. So I'm, it just makes me really excited to collaborate with the school counselors or the school adjustment counselor in that way. All right, Thursday, and on the, I've got my two middle school AIM groups that are one-on-one, -on -one, or sorry, AIM sessions that are one-on-one, -on -one. and those change every week because, or every three weeks because the school operates on a three-week rotating schedule. So when I build out my schedule, I have to schedule each or put each one individually on my calendar. I could set it up to as a reoccurrence every three weeks, but then I have to set end dates for December, February, and April. So I'm having to set it up multiple times anyway. Um, so maybe, yeah. Right now I have them scheduled out to December break, and then I plan on when I come back from December break, revisiting that schedule and getting it set up through to February. All right, so I have an 8.15. And then I have a 10.15. Beautiful. And this will be the first five-day week for my students. Oh, boy. Friday the 20th at 9 o'clock. And I've got to check on the other, I believe. Um, my husband and son are going golfing after school. So this will be the first time that my son goes to a full golf course. He's gone to par three golf courses, but this will be the first time he's going to a full one. So that's really nice. And let's see. Oh, I, you know what? I did forget. You might have caught this and be screaming. But on Monday, five o'clock board of directors. And then, oh, I did get that one. Uh, I'm also going to add for Monday email dissertation chair. So I have a new dissertation chair. Uh, I've talked a little bit about my dissertation. I completed all of my coursework back in 2022. I then had a topic that was very close to being submitted for IRB approval, but because I had switched jobs, the target participant for that dissertation uh, at my new job was a role that had a lot of attrition. There was a ton of turnover and the that target population or participant wasn't able to really acclimate to the role in order for me to assess their performance and be able to consider them as a participant for my study. So I went through the grieving process for that, selected a new topic and started the process of the literature review and developing the proposal for that. And then my working conditions were really unsustainable and I paused on that and ended up making the decision to change jobs again. Um, and just, if you're new here, <laughs> I am not somebody that changes jobs really frequently. I um, got out of college and worked at a place for three years and then 
I worked at a place for a year and a half and then another place for three and a half and then another place for eight and a half. And then after leaving that eight and a half year job, the next job was, I knew within two weeks it was the wrong fit, but I stuck it out for a year and a half. Um, and now I'm, I've completed a full year in my current role and I'm starting the second year and I have no intention of changing jobs again anytime soon. I um, really like consistency and structure in my life. So the process of interviewing and and acclimating to no new role, I have no interest in that. So um, now that I've been a year in this role, I have kind of reinitiated my work on my dissertation. I am paying for this semester, so financially I'm in it. Um, and like I said, I just got assigned a dissertation chair. So I'm going to reach out to them and uh, start progressing on that, which means, and I've, I've told my husband this, we've got to lock things down. We've got to stop making weekend plans. I need to be able to work during the week and work on my dissertation on the weekend. Um, otherwise, I will be burning the candle at both ends. And um, it is very difficult to work full time and get a doctorate. So um, there it is. <laughs> so I'm going to reach out to that person. All right. So today, today is a day off. I am keeping my day clear. I want to interact with as few people as possible. I need to recharge my social battery. I need to get prepared for the week, but I also want to allocate time to my dissertation like I just talked about. Um, and I also all my other kind of personal goals. So because yesterday was a rest day, today I'm going to work out. It's a beautiful day. I don't know if you can hear the bird chirping, um, but I want to get outside. I want to get in a run and then, um, I also just want to do a little check-in on my budget. I think it's all reconciled. I worked on it last night, but I just want to double check. I also need to do grocery shopping, which I'm not pleased about. And I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get it done today and try to sneak that in um, in the evening because I hate going to the grocery store. Um, I also need to fold the laundry. There's probably about four loads in my bedroom right now that needs to be folded. So I need to work on that. Need to do journaling and five year. Want to get some YouTube filming done. So I've got the plan with me, which I'm working on right now. And then I also want to, I'm considering, I, I filmed a video yesterday from the Commonwealth Pen Show, but I'm acknowledging I probably wasn't in a wonderful headspace. So the video may not be how I want it to be. So I am considering refilming that. Um, and then I need to do ink swatching. And three inks. I want to try to get in the habit of filming these videos on Sunday so that I'm not having to think about it during the week, but I'm still trying to find my groove. It might be something that I really focus on doing perhaps on Monday um, so that I can be a little bit more committed to my dissertation on the weekend, but I'll figure that out. Um, and let's see. Oh, my husband and I keep talking about doing yoga on Sunday, so I'm going to add that in, and I need to make some egg loaf for the week. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to do today. That is a lot. 
but I will put crochet and I'm going to put that I started that because I have, um, so I'm working on making these little crochet pump pumpkins. I have six of them done so far. So I, we've got this little pumpkin patch on our island, um, but I've got more yarn and more, more stuffing. And so I'm going to just plug away on that. It takes, takes me maybe an hour or two to make one of them. So it's just a nice little, if I'm going to be seated anyway, turn that sitting behavior into something productive. Um, and I think that's it. So that's my day. That's my week. And let's get out there and crush it. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate that. Please take a moment to subscribe. If you like this video, that means it'll get out to more people. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.